Thank you. Appreciate your time and your patience, uh, Mr. Chairman, the ranking member, um, <clears throat> and members of the subcommittee. I first want to extend my appreciation uh, for the work that you do. As a proud mother of a son who is a West Point graduate and uh, does serve in the United States Army in the 101st Airborne, he received his captain's bars uh, on April 30th, and I will uh, be there on that very proud, wonderful day. And I represent thousands of constituents in Missouri's 2nd Congressional District that wear the uniform. I know firsthand the importance of the subcommittee's work for our national security. The past two years, I've become very familiar with the Navy's tactical aviation capabilities. Last year, this subcommittee responded to the Navy's requirement uh, for more electronic attack capabilities by providing 15 EA-18G growlers in the fiscal year 2015 budget. Those aircraft will provide a warfighting capability that no adversary can match. Growlers will keep our Navy equipped to overcome enemies today and in the future in all threat environments. For that, I would like to say thank you. Today, I'm here to support adding FA-18 aircraft to the fiscal year 2016 budget. As you know, the Navy submitted uh, an unfunded requirement for 12 FA-18 F-model aircraft. In testimony, the Chief Naval Operations uh, Admiral Jonathan Greenert stated that the Navy has, and I quote, a super hornet shortfall of at least two to three squadrons, the equivalent of 24 to 36 aircraft. An aging fleet of legacy aircraft, the delayed operational deployment of the F-35 program, and a higher than anticipated utilization of super hornets in combat are contributing to this shortfall. To this last point, the Super Hornet is truly the workhorse uh, of naval combat operations against ISIL. It is an absolutely critical in-demand weapon uh, against our enemies. To exacerbate the shortfall challenge, the Navy has lost, sadly, 15 Super Hornets and Hornets over the past five years to battle or training losses, aircraft that have not been able to be replaced by the Navy or Congress. The strike fighter shortfall identified in the unfunded requirement request is not a new issue to the Navy, and it is one identified by this subcommittee repeatedly. The, uh, the Hack D has been on the leading edge of telling the Navy to address its inventory challenges. We all wish that the President's budget request included additional FA-18 Super Hornets, and we all expect the Navy to address the total extent of uh, the shortfall in subsequent budgets. However, without aircraft in fiscal year 2016, the FA-18 program faces a line closure decision. The FA-18 manufacturing line is the only aircraft production with the ability to build operational strike fighters for the Navy today and AEA aircraft for the entire Department of Defense. Without it, the Navy could, uh, couldn't address its shortfall, shortfall, nor could it add growlers in the future. I would not be in front of you today if funding additional aircraft uh, were not so vital to the warfighting capabilities, sir. Adding aircraft and keeping the FA-18 line alive is the right thing to do to keep our military personnel safe and to keep our country and allies safe. I have provided a copy of a House letter signed by myself and my colleagues requesting additional aircraft. These are members who have stood by the committee pardon me, by the subcommittee, to support defense appropriations in years past. I have also added a copy of the unfunded requirement highlighting the Navy's request for 12 aircraft. I ask that both of these uh, documents be submitted as a part of my written testimony, Mr. Sure, Chairman. In closing, I urge you to add 12 FA-18 aircraft to ensure the Navy can protect our nation now and in decades to come. I look forward to working with you and this subcommittee and supporting the appropriations process as it moves through the House of Representatives. I stand at your service and thank you for yours. Well, Ms. Magra, thank you for your testimony and thank you for your uh, congratulations on your uh, son's uh, promotion and, and uh, his service to our nation. I can assure you we're working very closely with the Navy. We obviously have some of the oldest aircraft across the broad spectrum of aircraft that we have to deal with and we'll do our level best to to address the issues, because obviously the F-18 has incredible capabilities, and and we, we still need it, st still need its uh, capabilities. It is the workhorse, sir, and, and losing 15 yes. uh, in the last five years has uh, 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 we've taken a real hit. So anything that this subcommittee can do, and anything I can do to be supportive through the appropriations process, I'm there to serve. Mr. Yeah. Chair, I would simply say the best talking. for last, uh, and also I add my congratulations on your thank you. and thank you for your service. Thank you. uh, he's a wonderful young man, and we look forward at the end of the of the month to celebrating him. Well, congratulations thank to you. you.
uh, committee stands adjourned. Appreciate everything.